Today, I'm gonna to be giving you the most effective, efficient, and fastest way to go about trading options on the Think or Swim platform. We're actually gonna be using the Active Trader tab. I'm not just gonna show you how to execute very fast entries and exits. I'm also going to show you how to use brackets, how to set a stop loss, a take profit. And so if you've been struggling in your trading, well, this video will hopefully help you out. Now, first things first, I will put a link in the description below to my exact TOS setup. All you have to do is click that link, apply that to your TOS, follow the manual instructions if it does not work upon clicking the link, but you will be presented with the exact same setup I have here. Now you can see here on the right side, we have the active trader and level two pulled up. And on the left side, this is actually the contract I have pulled up. You can see funny enough, I'm in a position right now up about 7%. Uh, on some AMD shorts. And I actually just wrapped up my morning session locking in $3,000 profit on ticker symbol SMCI shorts. So what are we going to do? Let's say we know what stock we want to trade. For example, SMCI as an example, because I've already traded it today. We are going to go to all products, and under here, you can see the options chain. This is where you normally go about purchasing the option contracts that you would like to buy. Obviously, we have the expiration dates, and then you could go about choosing what strike you'd like to buy. Let's say that you want to buy the SMCI March 5th puts. Let's say you want to buy the $1,000 puts. What you're going to do is right click, go down to send to, and send to yellow. Okay, because now let's head back over to Active Trader. You can see. I've got this left chart two synced with yellow and same goes for the right side. Okay, so we've got our active trader pulled up here under template. We can see this is where we go about choosing the type of order we want to send through. You can see we're looking at this specific contract we chose, okay? The SMCI March 15th, $1,000 put. Under here, you can see the price at which the contract is currently traded at because it is shaded in light gray. You can see the volume, you can see the ask and the bid. And then under here in the level two, we can see the sellers and the buyers. So the ask side and the bid side. If we wanna buy a single contract, all you have to do is right click on buy. You could go edit and then you can send that through either for a limit or market. You can also buy using the active trader tab. You could choose the quantity and hit buy market. If you click auto send, once you hit buy market, the order will go right through. However, I don't recommend that because you just always want to double check to make sure you're sending the correct order through. Now with options, I do not recommend buying in at market. I would always buy in limit. You're gonna end up paying a lot more for those contracts if you're buying in at market. Yes, you'll get in almost instantly, but you are going to pay a price and it's not worth it at the end of the day. In some cases, I would say, and it all comes down to how much you're trading with, how many contracts you're trying to buy, the volume behind those contracts, how many people are actively actually in those contracts or trading those contracts. So look at the volume open interest. Just make sure you're going in with a limit order. Now, to go in with a limit order, you can choose the price you want to get filled at, or we could say, hey, these contracts are trading at $26.90. I'm going to hold down control. You have to hold down control and then click on buy. And then you have to go to edit because otherwise you see now we have a limit order pulled up. If you just left click on buy, well, now you'll only be able to place a market order. Again, all we have to do is click on buy. Just make sure you are on the bid side. Hey, you don't want to be selling contracts. So anywhere, it really doesn't matter because again, we're going to be placing a limit order. But if you did just click buy on these and send these through at market, you're going to pay a lot, right? So we obviously would not want to do that. But let's say buy, hold down control, click. Now we're going to go to edit. And then you can see we've got a limit order here. You could go about choosing the amount of contracts. Now, great. But what is the active trader really helpful for? 
that would take you just as much time as it would to actually go to the options chain and buy the contract in the first place, where the active trader comes in handy. And it really comes down to how you're trading, but from a day trading perspective, even from a swing trading perspective, based off of how you go about placing orders, it can be a lot more time effective. So under template, I've gone ahead and I've created a couple templates. So these are orders, and I'll show you, for example, my one to three on a 10 to 30 basis. Well, what is gonna happen here is once I go to buy a contract, I choose my limit price and send that through. There is gonna be a bracket that will be displayed on the screen. You're gonna see that I have automatically set myself a 10% stop loss and a 30% take profit on those contracts. Okay, so you can customize your brackets. If you're under template and you go to trigger with bracket, you'll have the opportunity to say, hey, I want to take profit at 15% and make sure that is a limit order. And a stop order, well, I want to get out of this trade at a 10% loss. And then you could choose the amount of contracts. And then all you have to do is obviously hold control because we wanna go in with a limit order, click on buy. We're gonna to go to edit and you could see the orders pulled up here. Let's make sure that we are getting a good fill. So, you know, 2560 would be a good fill in this case. If we went in with market, we might get in at 2630. Now you can also go about deciding how many contracts you'd like to buy or just go based off a dollar value. So let's say we want to buy five contracts. Well, we want to sell five contracts. Make sure that does not go into buy or that will mess up your order. So these two orders should both be sell orders. And then you can see we've got our take profit, our limit order. And then we've got our stop, okay, at 10. You could change this to percent. So why is this helpful? Because if you are day trading, you've always got those contracts pulled up. And if you don't want to look at the actual contract on the left here, you can just unlink this and you could type in the ticker. So we are looking at SMCI contracts. We could type in SMCI. And now you've got the chart on your left at the same time. So you can both place the order and see the chart. The more information we can see in front of us, the faster we'll be able to make decisions. So even if you're just you know, placing single orders, you've just decided or you're just going to be trading just this same set of contracts all day, or if you just trade SPY, however you go about trading, this should be more effective than going all the way to all products and then going to you know the expiration, finding the contract each and every time. And then if you want to actually place orders with brackets, again, go to single, trigger with bracket, you could choose to set that limit or stop based off of the amount of contracts or a percentage. So like I said, let's just say 10% is our take profit, 5%, negative 5% is our stop loss. If you just click on this icon, you can save your custom template. Now, if you have a watch list under open contracts and you want to keep an eye on that ticker, all you have to do is copy this code from here and paste it into symbol or you can go to all products and let's just say you want to buy these contracts. You can also copy it from here or you can send it to right yellow. And then when it's in yellow, copy it from here, paste it in here. Once you have a position on, you can actually go to customize. You can see the PL percentage. You can see the PL open, PL year to date and have all of your open positions under a watch list. So essentially you want to have again, as much flexibility as possible. You want to see as much data and as much information as possible. So if I'm in this AMD position right now, I can see my PL percentage. I can also see my PL open and I don't care. I'll just I'm being transparent with you guys. I'm in this AMD contract right now. I'm down 1% uh, on the day I'm down or well, now I'm up two bucks. And then on the open, I'm down hundred bucks. You can organize this uh, however you'd like. Again, it just gives you another place to look at information and data. Now, you see under PL Open, we have these different value amounts. Now, a great feature in this active trader is that you are able to see exactly how much you're gonna make or lose based off of the price you wanna get in or get out at, whether that is a stop loss or take profit. 
Now, if I go to on demand, this is just simulated capital. Okay, so I'm going to let this load and I'm going to give you a couple examples of actually placing orders live in this active trader. And I'll show you that it's very easy. Now, it might lag a bit because this is on demand. You can see we're pre buffering right now. But here we go. We have these contracts pulled up. So let's say we want to trade SMCI March 1st, uh, you know, 775 puts right click send to yellow again if you copied my template you should now see smci but the smci contracts that you just selected under here now you can zoom in or out here by using these toggles and you can see these contracts are currently this is again a virtual account but back in time we just rewinded to march 6 trading uh at 99.70 Okay, so $9,970. Again, this is options. If we hold down control and then we click buy, we go to edit. You can see we've got our limit order pulled up. Again, this is going to be a little weird because this is the on demand feature. This is not an active market, but you can see we've got the mid uh, at $59.70. Obviously, you can choose the amount of contracts. We could confirm and send one through. And there we go. We just got filled. Now, obviously, if we want to go to close those contracts, we're just going to go and confirm and send. All right. But if we want to use one of these brackets, let's say we want to send an order through uh, at, you know, let's do control buy uh, at 5970 with a 30% take profit, 10% stop loss. We want to buy five contracts and we want to get rid of 100% of that position. Well, let's go. It's like we're going to have to adjust our limit order to 59.70. Okay, I'm going to go confirm and send. All right, because the on-demand feature is total garbage, I'm just going to actually put in a live market order to show you guys how this works. I might lose a couple dollars. It's totally fine. Um, but let's just go to like Uber, uh, the Uber... April 19th, uh, $80 puts, right click, send to yellow, active trader. Okay, you can see here on the right side, we've got these contracts pulled up, zooming in, zooming out with these two toggles. Okay, all the way zoomed out. You can see the prices here. You can zoom in more. And then you can see our preset one to three on a 10 to 30 basis. Based off of where we buy, it'll even show us, okay? It'll show us where our stop is gonna be placed. So let's say we wanna buy up these contracts, control buy, we're gonna go to edit right now, and we'll just buy one contract, okay? And then I'm going to sell 100% of that contract at 360, okay? And then we'll go ahead, confirm, and send this through. Now you can see I've got these orders already set to be triggered once one gets hit the other one will get canceled so if we get filled that means we'll be in the position now if the price of this contract moves down 10 percent we'll hit our stop loss and if it moves up 30 percent we'll hit our take profit and then you could see here where these orders are actually set so 325 is where we're going to be getting out of these for a loss, you can see my order here, okay, under the bid to buy one contract at 360. And then my take profit set up here at 470. So I'm gonna get filled for a 30% profit if it hits 470. And if you want to send that order in, if it's not getting filled, you just wanna get in, you can right click, cancel, replace order. You can then choose, okay the limit price once again let's say we want to get in at 365 confirm send this through and i really just want to get filled to show you guys how this works so there we go now we are filled you can see our pnl day pnl open pnl percentage we've already got our orders in here you can see there is our take profit at 30 percent our stop loss this is the feature i love on this right side under pnl open we could see exactly how much we're gonna lose once we get stopped out and how much we're gonna make once we take profit. So obviously we're out of this trade at 475 a contract and we'll make $110.
equivalent to 30% of the position. Now there is gonna be a little slippage that just comes with trading options. So you might not make exactly or lose exactly that amount, but it's gonna be very close. Now, if we want to move our stop, you can just drag it in place and hit send and it will adjust your stop. Now you can also do that here and you can see the percentage scale on the right side here. You can see the percentages. So let's say I wanna bring my stop down to a negative, well, 49.44% loss. I'm gonna drag my stop down and I'm gonna go ahead and place that, send that through. And now if we zoom out, you can see my stop is set here at 253. We're gonna stop out of these contracts at 253 a contract and I'm gonna lose $112. Okay, same thing can be done uh, as to the limit. Say we wanna make uh, you know, 3,100 on this position, we can send that through and it's gonna adjust my limit, but that's probably never gonna ever happen. It's probably never gonna get hit. You can also move up and down the brackets accordingly. Uh, however, just make sure you're careful where you place them. Let's look at this position. If we zoom out, obviously this is a very unrealistic target. Let's just bring this limit order back down for a 30%. You guys could see a 30% profit target. We're gonna send that through. And then we'll adjust our stop loss. We'll bring it back up to a 20% stop loss. Again, send that through. That can be done either here or here. And then you can see how much you'd make or lose. You could go based off percentages or you could go based off of dollars. Say I only want to lose $70 on this trade. We'll drag it down to 72 and then you can send that through. So that is how to use the active trader. Again, you can save uh, whatever the presets you want. You just go to trigger with brackets and set that order up. But I have a couple presets all laid out. So if I'm day trading, it's very easy. Uh, you know, I'll just go select the contracts under all products. I'll send them to yellow. And then I could just copy and paste this into my watch list. And then if I have five, six positions on, boom, I can see all my trades open. For example, right now on AMD, I'm back up 300 bucks on a day. Pretty straightforward. These little yellow arrows are where the contract is currently trading at. So let's say I move my limit down here, send this through, uh, and just based off of right price movement, I'm either gonna get filled or not. It looks like I am down a bit. Oh, there we go, got filled. So break even on that one didn't make or lose any money. But yeah, I've been very happy recently with the flexibility that trading option contracts in the active trader has given me because I have been focusing a bit more on day trading. As I said, uh, today I locked in about 3K profit. Now, if you are interested in learning how to trade in the stock market, whether that is to build up another stream of income on the side, and start generating some money quite passively. Or if you'd like to learn the lifelong skill of trading, I'm able to help you out in whatever direction you'd like to go. I do have a mentorship group, which includes all the resources you need to find that success in the stock market you've probably been looking for. If that is of interest, click the first link in the description below to apply. And if you're accepted, I look forward to working with you. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. And with that said, I will see you all in the next one.